Uh, for the time being, we continue to warm up in the west, which is great news considering you've been hearing about uh, severe weather back east over the last couple of days. But mild temperatures yesterday afternoon across much of the interior west, including Salt Lake, where we hit 63. Now this morning we've dropped down into the mid 40s in Salt Lake. It's mid 30s in Logan, 25 right now in Park City. Uh, it's in the low 40s in Moab, 38 right now in Cedar City. So temperatures are all over the place. A lot of you will need a decent jacket when you head out the door. But uh, this afternoon, it's going to be comfortable enough to get by without that. In fact, even this morning, looking good. A few straight clouds in the north. Aside from that, we've got fair skies and the yellow on this map indicating that high pressure, which will be building, settling practically right over us tomorrow and then moving off to the excuse me, settling over us today, then tomorrow moving off to the east of us. That allows a southwesterly flow, and that will help the temperature climb higher than it has so far this week. In fact, higher than it has so far this year. That's ahead of a trough low pressure. They'll be dropping in, sliding through at the end of the weekend. So by Sunday, we'll start to see a few showers, at least a chance of that. But that wet weather will become a lot more likely uh, by Sunday night into Monday. So take advantage of the warm spell while you can. And it certainly will be warm this afternoon. We'll hit 71 in Salt Lake, or at least come pretty close to that. Not into record territory, but we'll be climbing about 10 degrees above average for this time of year. Upper 50s in Park City and Evanston. Uh, you'll make it up to 74 in Moab, all the way up to 82 degrees this afternoon in St. George. So for a lot of you, if you can find a spot in the sunshine, might be a comfortable enough day to eat outside. Tomorrow, you probably want to fire up the grills for the first time if you can. Temperature in St. George climbs all the way up to 85. It'll still hover in the 80s on Saturday, drop near 70 by Sunday, which is still comfortable and it won't stay that way very long. You'll warm up again by this coming Tuesday. And in Salt Lake City, it'll be sunny and breezy tomorrow. That south wind helps the temperature climb all the way into the upper 70s. We're going to hang on to warm weather through the first part of the weekend. Sunday, kind of a transition day. It's starting to cool off. Chance of a few showers later in the day, but those become a lot more likely by early next week. Temperature drops into the 50s by then and possibly cold enough for some snow to mix back in with rain in the valleys by this coming Wednesday.